Hi, I'm Mary Loren Buckman, and I'm going to share with you what we're having for tonight's dinner. <laughs> My book is The Dressing Table. It's just a really good book, old-fashioned recipes, and just a lot of really good um, short stories in this. This is my book, it's, it's out. Now what we're making tonight is pizza cups. Now what I have in this pan, this is a really cool pan. It's an antique pan that my mother and I got at an antique store in Virginia. And I like to use it because it reminds me of that. But what I have in my pan is I have one pound of ground beef, browned and drained. I have a half of a sweet onion, cooked with it and then I also put in a half I'm sorry a cup of uh, a good quality pizza sauce and I have a tablespoon of jarred pesto and a half a cup of jarred mushrooms that have been drained sliced now this is not if this is your recipe you can use um, brown Italian sausage you can use anything you want. My husband doesn't like peppers, so I didn't put peppers in it, but he does like onions and ground beef and mushrooms. Um, whatever you like as a pizza topping, um, feel free to do this. This is also really neat where you do the same thing, but you have a pound of ground beef and you use the taco packages and you make, according to the directions, and then you put that in with like cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack cheese, top it you know, with sour cream, lettuce, tomato, this is your recipe, this is just an idea, this is just like a basic. So what I have here is I have bran biscuits. And I take half of a biscuit and I just line my, um, my muffin pan just about, I don't know, like a little ways up, maybe like you need half up the, up the well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some of my sauce in each cup. And if you have leftover sauce and you don't want to make more of these, a really neat thing to do is to save this, cool it down, put it in the refrigerator, and then make pasta with it tomorrow night. It's really neat. It's really fun. Dinner's already half made. So you can just toss noodles in this. You can maybe add some more um, crushed tomatoes or what have you and make like a nice pizza sauce. Okay, so I've done that. Now, when I like pepperoni on my pizza, so I like to put pepperoni kind of on top. And this is your pizza, you can do whatever you want. Oh, my husband doesn't like pepperoni, I keep forgetting that. Okay, and then you wanna take shredded mozzarella cheese or any kind of cheese that you want. This is your recipe. And you just put it right on top. And another one that's really good is to make um, Alfredo sauce and put some grilled chicken in it and some broccoli and make like a little al chicken Alfredo kind of thing and top it with freshly grated Parmesan cheese. That's another one that's delicious. I like this with a salad for dinner. I think it's for lunch, snack, what have you. I like a lot of cheese on my pizza. And then we put it in the oven at 425 for about 10 minutes. When it's golden brown and just really puffy. And look, I have some meat. What you just want to do is you want to take a spoon. It's gonna pop them out. Look. <laughs> Aren't these adorable? And the biscuit gets real dark and brown. And you just wanna take them out. And you just wanna put them on the tray. I like a lot of cheese, so a lot of times they get it, they stick a little bit. But be sure to use spray in your pizza cups before you uh, take them out. I mean, before you bake them. Anyway, this is going to be our dinner on um, vegetable salad, or you can just eat them plain. You can make these as a snack. Um, you can make as many as you want, and then I would uh, wipe, wrap them individual with saran wrap, 
and then put them in, the, in a freezer bag and putting them in the freezer. That's pretty cool. And this is what's for dinner tonight. Pizza cups. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.